Okay, so this is essentially the framework that I use to go from a grade D in A level physics to a grade A. And I did all of this in just under six months. So this is the exact framework. It essentially follows three stages. So stage one is learning the content and stage two is installing that content into your head so you don't easily forget it. And stage three is practicing. And uh, this will essentially prepare you to smash those final exams. So stage one, is the learning stage of course and by far the best resource on a-level physics out there is z physics and i would go as far as to say that this is probably the only resource that you need to learn your a-level physics content of course if you want to watch other youtube videos you're more than welcome to but z physics uh i don't know his name what's his name it's something complicated anyway but his videos are absolutely amazing uh he has exam video he has videos on every single topic out there in uh, physics so what i did was i watched these videos and i made detailed notes i'll put a picture up of what my notes used to what my notes used to look like and uh, this is essentially what you want to do and it's best if you do uh watch these videos and make your notes ahead of class so two to three days before your actual physics lesson so the only reason why I keep emphasizing this point of learning the content ahead of time in all my A-level videos is because it's essentially active recall. You learning the content a couple days before you actually learn it in school will reinforce the content once again when you actually come to class that uh, following day and uh, go about learning it with your teacher. So that's why I recommend it. If you can't, because some of you guys watching this will be in year 13 in February, uh, trying to improve your A-level physics grade, and uh, you're probably near the end of your curriculum already. So you know you can't do this really, but uh, just still make detailed notes. As long as you make detailed notes, that's all that matters, because this is very important for the next stage that I'm going to talk about. But just to reinforce again, understanding is key. If you're not understanding what you are learning and if you if you are for example like me i was completely lost i didn't understand shit. like i could you could show me a question and i would be confused as to whether we even looked at something like this in gcse physics i was stupid 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 so what did i do in this situation right what i did was the only thing that i could possibly have done start from the very beginning start from chapter one of a-level physics and build your way up because everything in physics adds on everything in physics is built on fundamentals the equation gravitational potential energy is built on an equation that you learn in chapter one of a level physics so i don't know if it's chapter one but you get the point right so i wanted to uh, start from the very beginning if you are someone that is very confused about what you are learning in physics and make sure you understand every single topic every single chapter uh, make sure you understand it and make your detailed notes so as you are understanding uh, try, uh, understanding your content, what you can do to further improve your understanding and really digest the information that you are learning is blurting. This, I haven't mentioned it in my other YouTube videos, I think, because it's it only works for physics as, as uh, far as I've tested it. It's the most important technique uh, in this whole three-stage framework. And uh, blurting is essentially, you know how I showed you those A-level physics notes that I made? What I would do is after learning the content, I would say that like the next day, like the next morning, it's very good if you blur early in the morning because your brain is fresh and it's not really uh, crowded with information. What I would do is I would get a blank piece of paper and try to remember everything that I wrote down on my detailed notes. And you would, you would think like, you would, you're probably asking right now, how can I remember all that information? Trust me, your brain can. You do not know how powerful your brain is yet. So try blurting your whole detail notes and whatever you miss out try to correct yourself using a different colored pen so you know which information is not yet digested in your brain and i want you to do this again and again uh, so once you've done it the next day do it again two weeks later do it again a month later and the more you blurt the better because you'll digest the information more and more and will essentially improve your understanding of the topic as you are going about blurting uh, the next stage what i want you to do is for the practice questions, I want you to start practicing as soon as you finish the blurting stage of the process. So the resource that I would recommend to practice A-level physics, firstly, is this website. It's called the Online Physics Tutor. Let my camera load up. Uh, the Online Physics Tutor. And uh, this website has questions about topic on every single A-level physics topic. Uh, I did OCR A-level physics, but 
this is AQA, for example. So every single topic questions you can find here, I don't know, you might be learning about, uh, let's pick a good topic. Mm, what's, what did I enjoy a lot in um, A-level physics? Who cares? Um, oscillations, why not? So as you can see, the topic questions are right here. What I want you to do after blurting out the information is simply going about uh, answering every single question in this worksheet. So answer all of them and uh, correct yourself, right? Uh, for example, definition of uh, oscillations and things like that. If you get that wrong, correct yourself using the mark scheme and uh, try understanding the content using these past papers because essentially these are built on exam questions that they've already asked uh, in, in the past. So I want you to use this website to practice A-level physics and um, correct yourself and further enhance your understanding. And what the, why is this Squarespace, bro? Um, next, uh, once you've done this for every single, so you're going through each topic, answering every question by topic, correcting yourself, you know, multiple choice, the actual long answer questions and everything. Next, it comes to past papers, right? And the best website I would recommend for practicing A-level physics uh, past papers is this one. Uh, it's called A-level A -level past papers. And of course, it doesn't have the most recent um, past paper questions and the past papers, but what it does have is every single old um, A-level physics past paper. So it goes back to 2010, which is good enough for me. So I want you to do every single past paper available here and mark yourself, see where you're going wrong. And also see the examiner's report. The examiner's report is so clutch because it essentially shows the most common mistakes that all the students are making. And you can use that to avoid uh, making the same mistake in your exams. So use the mark scheme, use the examiner's report. They're all very useful. And this is the website that I would recommend you do your past papers on. And uh, of course, you can also use physics and math tutor, which is probably, again, the best resource for all types of questions. But I personally just like the other website. I found the papers more useful. Uh, so. Again, going back to, um, where is it? You know where to find the past papers, right? Physics papers and um, whichever paper you need to do, paper one, paper two, paper three, use physics and math tutor to practice every single past paper ever released. Uh, I know it's kind of an over-exaggeration, but I want to really get a point, get across this one point. Practice and get a thousand questions wrong just to get a hundred questions right in the real exam. Because the more you practice and the more you fail and the more you learn from your mistakes, the less likely you are going to fail in the real exam. So I want you to practice as much as you can and uh, expose yourself to as many different uh, types of A-level physics questions. Because essentially, I'll tell you one thing, physics questions are the most repetitive thing in the world because they can't change the fundamental on a definition of a uh, definition of, uh, I don't know, oscillations or whatever topic you might learn. They can't change the maths behind it. All, all they can do is just switch around the numbers or switch around the type of type, the way in which they ask you the questions. So if you expose yourself to every type of A-level physics question out there, you would have essentially seen somewhat a similar question when you do your real exam. So do like a thousand questions and get, I don't know if you get a thousand, I don't care if you get a thousand questions wrong. As long as you get those hundred questions right in the real exam, that's essentially all you need. So practice as much as you can. And uh, this is essentially the three-stage uh, uh, process that I followed and uh, extra things like asking your teachers questions, as many questions as you can. If you don't understand it, stay back, ask your teacher what you don't understand and get it fixed straight away. Because I know sometimes it can be daunting to go up to your teacher and be stupidly asking questions about things that are very easy to understand. And you might sometimes think you're the only person in the class that is confused but ask your questions. Also answer questions in class, by the way, because you you know, uh, under, sometimes you might think, um, oh, why would I answer these questions? I might be getting it wrong. But you, if you get it right, the confidence boost that you get from essentially just answering questions is so great, it will add up and uh, benefit you in the real exams. So improve your confidence with physics by practicing answering questions, put in the extra hours, put in the extra work, and uh, I can promise you it'll all pay off. So that's everything that I wanted to cover in this video. So if you did find this video useful, uh, drop a like below. And if you're confused about anything that I said or have any other questions, uh, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, I would also suggest you subscribing if you found it useful. I'm trying to get a, a thousand subscribers or something like that. So 
I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. And just one more plug, I am offering one-on-one -on -one tutoring. So if you're interested in something like that, send me a message, uh, just drop a comment down below or reach out to my email, abdulkamalbusiness at gmail.com and uh, we'll work something out and see if I can help you out. So that's all from me today and uh, I hope you get that A or A star in A-level physics. Good luck.